Welcome back, Texoma. Now just less than a half an hour from sunrise, and that's certainly going to be welcome news as we're starting to see a little bit more of that cloud coverage. But again, still looking at that stars and stripes to start off your Independence Day. And it's going to be another hot one across Texoma. We'll look at mostly sunny skies through the morning time frame. That cloud coverage expected to increase really as we go into the afternoon hours ahead of that cold front that will be making its arrival. Though again, it's not going to be until after uh, we get past peak heating. So still reaching into the triple digits for this this afternoon again that cold front really will feel the impacts as we go in towards tomorrow and getting in towards your Friday that's where we really feel the impacts uh, of those cooler temperatures winds generally out of the south five to ten miles per hour and again going in towards this evening looking towards the fireworks we'll see those clouds continue to build into the area with that cold front really making those rain showers uh, make their arrival in towards about the 7 p.m. time frame so again could be dodging a couple showers if you're heading out to any of the events for uh, fourth of July and again looking at some of those fireworks uh, otherwise we'll look at those clouds to linger as you go into the evening hours as rain chances will diminish going through the overnight as well. Looking at those heat advisories across all of Texoma, the potential for some of those heat index values could get up to 109 degrees. So still, uh, while we do have the cold front expected to make its arrival, uh, we don't want to get uh, let summer sneak up on us and catch us off guard. Still make sure we're drinking water and break, taking breaks uh, during the afternoon hours. Otherwise, still looking at the cloud coverage, mostly staying into the western parts of Texoma. That'll get further towards the east and southeast as we go throughout the day. The cold front really just off towards the north and west, uh, seeing it kind of along the lines of parts of Oklahoma in towards the Texas Panhandle. That's when it's going to take a little bit more movement, get its way further towards the east and southeast as it makes its way across Texoma later this evening. Otherwise, temperatures are starting off into those upper uh, 70s and low 80s, 81 degrees in Wichita Falls, a couple 70s further towards the east. We'll still reach into the triple digits, 105 for your afternoon high, um, but we'll really be talking about that cold front as we go in towards the evening hours. Spotty showers associated with that. Uh, temperature is still a little bit on the warmer side because of that increased cloud coverage. We'll just see those overnight lows drop back, though, into the 70s as we go through the rest of the week. Do have a chance for a slight shower or thunderstorm uh, to be severe. That is going to be a 2 out of 5 on our severe weather outlook. Those storms actually weakening as they push further towards the southeast. So again, we'll see the severity of the storms really decrease as we go through the rest of the evening time frame. Again, those storms really kind of start to pop up right around the 7 o'clock time frame into the Wichita Falls area, getting in towards the southeastern parts of Texoma as you continue into the evening uh, and overnight hours. But again, clearing out really as you see that system kind of go behind it. Uh, cloud coverage will continue to linger through the overnight hours, but much cooler as we go in towards your Friday and getting into the weekend as temperatures will drop back down into the 90s and could even see a return to some upper 80s to start next week.